All right. Oh, shit. I'm already recording. All right. No, oh, fuck it. Who cares? All right, is it a- I updated the program, so it's back at default settings with some minor tweaks. So it defaulted to automatically recording when we're Skyping. Oh, my God. That's funny. That, that works, though. You know? All right, cool. You set? You need anything, or are you good? All right, we're good. All right. <clears throat> Killers, welcome all you kings and scream queens. Thanks to all our killer fans for tuning in. It's a whole nother year. Happy New Year, killers. We're glad you're here. We're back with our second annual cock awards. What the hell's a cock award? Well, we're the kings of kill. And uh, the, the, the KOK, and if you read that, it's not a very good acronym, but we're rolling with it. The cock awards, second time. Thanks for tuning in, folks. My name is Zach. I'm Steven. And together we are the Kings, the of, Kings Kill. of Kill. Bring good. So good. You did you did good, bud. You did real good, man. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, real good. Real good. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. Head on over to kingsofkill.com. Do us a favor. Do a little shopping. Check out some merch and request your very own episode. Kingsofkill.com. Check it out today. Today, we're having an award show. Happy New Year, man. Um, it's a new year. I'm glad about. Um, I'm pretty happy to be out of the 2021s. Next question. You sound like a, a frightened kid, like <laughs> with our first interview ever. Like, like <laughs> you're running for student body. I want to be a president uh, because I'm good and like eggs. <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> uh, I'm excited, man. So it was an awesome year. I can't believe we've done this for another year. Like what? It's pretty weird. When I'm when I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Zone, what I'm so excited about is to say fuck off to 2021. Welcome 2022. It better be better. I'm gonna make it better. I don't care. It's gonna be better. The only thing good that came out of 2021 was the music. The movies now were that's all right. 2021 available. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the movies were all right, and then all of a sudden, like all of a sudden, all of a they sudden, came out in awesome December. Time. All of a sudden, it's Christmas, and everyone's like, you know what? We need horror. I'm okay with it. Really? I agree. I'm excited. Um, so this is this is an award show of sorts. Uh, who determines this uh, this award show? Us. That's it. It's just what we think. It, you know. And if if you disagree or don't like it, comment. Write to us because come over. It's really just, just start, come over. Come Tell through. Tell me to my face. I mean. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. The dude said it best. All right, this, this is our <laughs> worship. We can do whatever the fuck we want, and we're going to have some fun. Uh, should we Should we kick it off? Should we start? Um, First off, let's dive right in. Let's thank everyone for being here. That's a laugh track, not an applause track. That doesn't make any I mean, sense. It's pretty funny that people are listening. Thank you, thank you, our adoring fans. Thank you, killers. Uh, thanks, Tuna. We do appreciate you. Our, the last track is still going faintly in the background. Sorry, we don't I, have Ricky Gervais's. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this Ricky Gervais with a with a beer roast in Mel Gibson with no shame. Yeah, you watch that all. Host tonight. We're sorry. Yeah, uh, he's busy listening to the show. Big fan, Ricky. Huge fan. As well. Good to see you. <laughs> Let's start off with uh, the best visuals, the best special effects in horror. Should we? Who should took we it? There was a lot. A lot of good ones. The winner is. Would you like to? Would you like to announce the winner? Antlers. Antlers. That is right. 
a, a movie that was almost super awesome, just fell a little bit short, but those effects were fantastic. I mean, they were most mostly practical, some CGI, really well hidden. It looked beautiful. Um, um, and the award's going to go to uh, Shane Mahan and Legacy Effects. That's who created that monster. Oh, and man, okay. have you seen that monster in light? Like, it's, it's a just lot like of the town that. and like how the atmosphere was. I was like, I felt like I was dusty and shitty. It was great. <laughs> Everything <laughs> I mean, about it just I mean, looked. Just it woke looked up like a terrible hangover. Was, I just yeah. woke up dusty and shitty. I love Man. it. Man. Fucking <laughs> Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> no, I. Yeah, that villain or like the creature was fucking terrifying looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Unless it eats, the then... effects were amazing. I would like to. I like the effects in Last Night in Soho, but Anthers, Antlers was a little bit. Gotta better. give credit where it's due. You gotta give credit where it's due. So let's give it up. Let's give it up for Antlers. It it deserves some love. Um, it you, the best thing about Antlers is it tried. It went for it. You know, I wish the last. I, I wish the third act. Long. I wish the third act was a little different. You know, yeah. like some character choices really bug me, but it's a horror. It's tough to finish a horror movie, you know? I, th I think it just did a really good job of, uh, I mean, it sucked me in. I liked all oh, the characters. Sure. I was in, yeah. It did a good job, but yeah. liked it. that third act, boy. Uh, boy! <laughs> boy, that third act, let me tell you. <laughs> all right. Let's get into it. Uh, uh, next category is best musical score are we are we ready Should we get a little drum roll action again it's the loudest percussion drum yeah, that guy needs to like lay off the lines in the easy bathroom bus. easy but Quit skiing um, the slope <laughs> jesus tony montana man <laughs> all right uh typically typically best score would go to uh a composer you know, Hans Zimmer well, every year, <laughs> every year, Hans Zimmer <laughs> for the same song. He did 16 times. <laughs> it's just the different parts. I can't tell the difference. Yeah. It's just one 30 minute song. You just like, he deserves hey, it. I mean, shit. he's good. He's good. Uh, but instead we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to do, do a specific song that really made this film. So we're going to give it to, Downtown by Down Tempo, sung by Anya Taylor Joy last night in Soho. God damn, what a perfect vibe to just bring that movie together. Great scene. Great oh. scene all around. Good job, crew. <laughs> no, it sucked me in. Um, maybe shed a tear or two when she was singing it. I don't know. Who's heavy. Say. heavy. It was very heavy. And, uh, Let's give it up. Let's give it up. It deserves some love. It was very, just a perfect. Very convincing, too. Fantastic. Holy shit. Really gives you the goose in the bumps. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, I guess you get that. I guess. I don't know. Play it out of your eyes. Okay, let's go on to best actor in horror. Should we do a little, another little drum roll? I think so. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Ah! Go for it, man. So, <laughs> where do I begin <laughs> with this one? For someone who has no dialogue in the movie, we're giving mm -hmm. this award to the best actor in horror this year. Uh huh. And in, he's playing himself in the new upcoming movie. Oh, I don't even know what it's called. We'll just. It's Nick Cage. Nick fucking Cage. That's right. The Cage Rage is back. Uh, uh, you know what? When he found the script for Willy's Wonderland, he told everyone, I've been looking for a script this perfect. <laughs> and it turns out the script had no dialogue. No dialogue. It's just cracking cans, putting on shirts, and cracking faces. It's fucking nuts. I love it. I love and it. It's... I wish there was a t-shirt with Nick Cage's face. I'd wear that with those lyrics right on it. <laughs> Uh, what what they call the energy can that he was drinking, like ass popper or something? I forget. It was. I don't think it <laughs> I don't was think that. It was ass popper. But it was something. It was hella tongue in cheek. It was something just like that. But but uh, let's ass. give it up. Cage is a 
is a mixed bag. A lot of people don't vibe him, think he's too intense. I think he's fan. I think he's brave for going nuts. I like it. Like he knows what yeah. he's doing. Like he's I, just... I would give the performance to him again for Pig, but it's not technically a horror movie. No horror elements. Like it came out, it looked like a horror movie in the trailer. It, it had a at horror least vibe, a, at least it, a revenge it's flick. Not. Yeah, but it's it's. He was obviously better at that. He had dialogue. Yeah. And he's a chef, so obviously better. Great. But Will, Willy's Wonderland, Willy's was, Wonderland. Was, was such a treat. I want to say that was probably the most surprising movie of this year for me. Yeah. Oh, hands down. Oh, yeah. I had no idea what to expect. It was random. And I it loved. just came out, and we're like, what the hell it. is Nick Cage? Every doing? moment of it. Every moment of it. It doesn't even speak. I mean, there were other actors that were great. I would put and then, I would nominate Chris Rock in Spiral, sadly, and I know you'll disagree I think he, probably. I think, but he did a great job. I'll give I think him he did he's probably good. the runner up. He damn near took it. If it just Willie's one line was just so entertaining, I was just enthralled. You know, I really was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, Rock did an awesome job. I was actually really impressed by his acting or maybe chops. The guy I've only from seen him. He, he, he would be nominated. Um another oh, another would very be close. uh no one from Malignant. Um... <laughs> James Wan, you ass clown. You mentioned the, uh, what Cage is going to be in. He's playing a movie where he's playing himself. It looks so fun. It looks yeah. like a wild ride. Nick Cage I, playing I, Nick Cage. Nick Cage starring as Nick Cage. <laughs> like, I can't all wait. you need for the credits is just to say fuck yeah after that. <laughs> Nick Cage starring as Nick Cage. Dude. Pyro, great! I'm super excited. I can't. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of strong performances by people you you wouldn't expect. Newcomers like in Candyman uh, uh, did a fantastic job. We had uh, 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 last night in Soho with I mean everyone on on screen was yeah. doing fantastic. Yeah, a lot of great performances this year. Um, when you look back at it, a lot of month of great performances, but but. Yeah, re- really impressive. Really impressive. Uh, let's move on to Best Actress. Oh, yeah. You, you take it. Back a little percussion action. <laughs> <laughs> the rock face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best Actress. I mean, of all the amazing talents in, like, Antlers, for example... In Candyman, for example, I have to give it to Thomason McKenzie last night in Soho. She yes, was just 100% spectacular. I, I was so convinced by everything she did. She was a real person. Not once did I think she's playing a shell of someone. I never saw Thomason. I only saw last night in Soho. I just yep. saw the characters. No, that was it. it her it, performance was so fucking good. Astounding, so and that's good. and that's on top of Candyman. That's that's saying something. Yeah, you know? it, it's it's tough. I mean, I actually liked Cricket Brown mm-hmm. in The Unholy. As weird as that sounds, I don't like anything about The Unholy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give something to Sam Raimi. It was you know it what? was there. No, you don't. No, you it don't. When you fuck up, you fuck up. <laughs> Take your lickings. All right. You you know what you know. What I think of The Unholy. <laughs> That's what I think about the unholy. Uh, Thompson McKenzie did a great job. Let's give some love. She she knocked it out of the park. And and, and to get a title like this again is just us. Who really gives a shit? We're just saying we're just saying yeah. what we like. Yeah. But I like mean, Emily Blunt could have got it for Quiet Place too. But you know what? Didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't either, which was crazy because I loved the first one and I just never got around to it. Didn't it was even delayed so long. One. It just not, okay. It's sad. That I, have, I own both of them, so damn it on me. That's one strike. Two more, and you get you get penalized for moving the cock championship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have an interim belt. <laughs> I gotta come back for that, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, just a lot of really stunning performances this year. And and Nobody if we don't name from uh, Willie's Wonderland, she was good too. Yeah. If we don't name anyone, if you think we forgot somebody, please write into the show. Make a comment. We definitely did, so do it. We, yeah, we really we really care about what you think, and we're just going to play Need to Love Horror. 
We're just put that shit down. Don't worry about it. Because we have Don't worry about a video it. sponsor. Hanson's Anchorings. Folks, if you're in the mood for some custom roasted farm to farm coffee, go to Hanson's Anchorings dot com and order today delivering nationwide for free say farm to farm farm to farm farm to farm columbia california farm to farm nice dude to you delivery from zach dude to you jesus christ i'm not gonna do your advertisements anymore man man, that's that's a great (laughs) plug the first plug steve's ever done and he's fucking saying do 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 god damn it What's next? This train wreck. This is like the James Franco Awards. This is horrible. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want. Fucking, I don't want James any Franco relation with that motherfucking Oscars. creep. I don't want any relations with fucking Franco. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck that guy. Oh man. You know what? James, that's what you get. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. He's. Oh yeah, you don't like him, obviously. He, he max on 16-year-olds. No, I don't like him. And that's horrible. So, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Got you there, huh? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's, let's move on to best villain. Let's, let's start it up. Let's start it up. Go for it, man. This one was um really easy, <laughs> so, cause um <laughs> like we put any work into the show at all, <laughs> like, like yeah, like we've been slaving away and meeting. I feel and like shit. <laughs> I feel like we've been waiting for this movie for so long, and it came out, and we're just like, yeah, it's it's out, but we're gonna give it to Candyman himself. Candyman, uh. What an intriguing rendition. Um, Good return. Fantastic return. So talented. The, the whole cast was just stunning performances left and right. A uh, big shout out to Yaya Abdul Mateen the second. Yeah, the wow. second one, yeah. He, he, <laughs> he was so incredibly convincing. Um, I love the new look of, of Candyman before he died. They made him look a lot friendlier, yeah. you know? Yeah. That that worked too, and of course Tony Todd with the voiceover coming back. He had it. Does it get any better? Man, so impressive. Yeah, give it up. Um, there wasn't really great villains or creatures this year. What are we gonna cast Malignant? No, we're not gonna give Malignant the award. Malignant might be, might be the biggest flop. I think. Unholy was just disappointing. Malignant had all was worse for me. Unholy was worse, but but like I I figured out in the first five minutes that it was going to be shit. I just knew. <laughs> I just knew. The second we were told Sam Raimi was making a movie, and then we get to the theater and says, "Hey, produced by, not directed by." I'm like, "Already lied to me for a reason. <laughs> you knew it, Blue." It's a lot of trailers, and then. Um, and then, so like I, I, my expectations went out the window in the first five minutes. With Malignant, I was hoping for more, for like an hour. <laughs> I was like, "Come on, one." Yeah, and then it Come turned on, into buddy. like Jet Li's The One, where it was just some <laughs> crazy I, fight I scenes don't. that I don't even can't even understand. I think the most frustrating part for me was all this talk about original horror which i absolutely love of course huge fan of the show nothing about that was original everything was stolen from other from other things everything that's true i'm thinking about jet lee's the one right now that was a crazy it's... movie <laughs> like <laughs> i want a remake right now same actors though jason statham come back remember when jet lee like was making like six movies a year oh dude it was like kiss of... the dragon and something with the song by Aaliyah and he's wearing what and he wears the same outfit every single movie. He's just in a black shirt, long sleeve, in black slacks. Every time. Oh, and then he came out with Hero. And then yeah. Fucking the one. What an my entertaining favorite, awesome idea for a movie. My favorite martial arts 
movie is hands down Rumble in the Bronx. So fucking good. Is that the one with the it's, like the hovercraft at the end? Oh yeah, yeah. And it's just yeah. running over hella people. <laughs> yeah, <it's> so good. <laughs> and Jackie Chan's running with so a baby, good. and he just tosses it to the side and gets ran it's over. So insane. Now that one's it's good. So insane. I, I think Doing all Hero stunts, is probably man. one of my favorites. Hero yeah, is let's, super. Uh, uh, Kung Fu Hustle. Fuck it. That's the best. That's, that's that so movie's fun. absolutely insane. Let's give it up to Candyman. It deserves oh, yeah, Candy it. Man. Uh, <laughs> Talk about the weird. Word. A tangent? Us? That's so strange. <laughs> I love when you... I knew you went somewhere. Like, I knew you looked and, like, you were playing the movie in your yeah, head. Yeah, I was. And you came back up and you couldn't even contain yourself. Like, I'm, I just watched the one in 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, I did. I was playing it through my head. I was like, man, that was actually like, a you, good movie. You can see the VHS streaks from the yeah. fast forward in your mind. Like, I don't know if it was a great movie, but I remember it being really fun and liking it. It's the last of that era that, like, that leaked over from, like, the Rambo era where every action movie was nuts, you know? Yeah, and then it Equilibrium was, like, came out and everybody was, like, over it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. who cares? That was the, Equilibrium, that's the yeah, end of that nothing. timeline right there. Equilibrium. Yeah, it, ended, it ended hard. <laughs> it was done. Oh, and man. Aeon Flux. <laughs> that fucking live action everything Oof. everyone's just trying to do weird shit yep. they're like oh, uh, matrix is right. out okay go on let's do this all right it is time for best movie we'll come call it best director as well right they kind of go hand in hand best crew making a movie <laughs> <laughs> the horror movie of the year i mean Let's 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 get a drum roll. This one deserves push it. Push all big those times all at once. <laughs> push it. Push all the buttons. <laughs> you wanna you wanna you wanna do the honors? Oh yeah. Um, it's last night in Soho. I got no build Edgar up there. Rock, last night in Soho. You're like you're as bad as someone actually trying to open up the fucking envelope. Be like, it's up. Uh, I can't read. Where, it's which La La way is Land. It? Oh no, it's Moonlight. Sorry. Oh, that was so devastating. Last night in Zoho, Edgar Wright. I was so pleasantly pleased, folks. We reviewed all these movies. Check them out. The whole list is curated. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. Kingsakill dot com. Everything's free on there. Um, every show is free. It's true. <laughs> you gotta pay for the cups. My voice is free for you. You're so giving. That's let's give it up. Last night in Zoho. A round of applause. Beautiful looking, satisfying everything. It was stunning. A everything breath about it. of fresh air. Edgar Wright, you're just you're killing it, man. You're just killing it. It's, Your vision is just is just spot on. It's entertaining every you movie he, gets, out. he comes out with. It's on the website. Please check this out. It is so much fun. How many awards you do we get not... last Soho? Like one, two, three. Nice. It Damn, it's like it. sweet. Man. Yeah, it, it deserves it's, it. It's, it's like when so Parasite good. came and what's out. So funny, what's so what's so funny is that it like literally just came out a few months ago, and before that happened, it was like Candyman and Antlers, like neck and neck for almost everything, and then all of a sudden, whoa! Yep, I forgot Last everything. Night, all my knowledge about horror Game movies changer. in the past. I was like, you know what? This one rules. Takes a cake. Um, can't really say anything bad about it. Uh, no, I mean, I, I wish, I wish, uh, I wish it was scarier, but I don't think that was Edgar Wright's. No, nah, he point. was having fun with it. He was just like, you he know, wanted to just it. take you on a trip. Yeah, you know, well, which means it's really accessible to a much wider audience, though. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah, it's not too gross. There's some things in it, but it's not too gross. You know, like you'd watch this with your grandma, probably. Like, it's not terrible. I imagine that our game games think of <laughs> entertainment slightly differently. Probably. <laughs> uh, before before we give out our final award, let's talk about some things that we missed because we fucked up weird. So weird. We missed a couple. Um, just recently, we missed uh, – we didn't get a chance to, to take on Raccoon City, which I think will be fun, but, like, I don't think it's going to be a stunner. Yeah, that looks like one you don't really take seriously. But it also looks true to the game, finally, so – yeah, that, that that does look good. So uh, I don't I don't think it'll be bad, but I don't think it's gonna be amazing. But I'm I'm also down to see it. I haven't seen Nightmare Alley. Doesn't look terrifying, but it does look like a lot of fun. 
Give him the tour back in the director's yeah, chair. I miss that. Don't breathe too. Really love the first one. You did love the first one. The end was too heavy for me, but like I love, I love the concept. And the That's second one looks, love. I love that really fun. Ending. Kind of like, uh, fucking come to daddy had a crazy ending. Oh, that yeah, that was that was really good. Yeah. That was really. Or well, the good. one that where was, the guy's like, he's he's uh, doing he's on the phone call. I I forgot what it's called. It's by the dude. He's in Get Out. Uh, fuck. Let's just move on. What? It's got a crazy <laughs> ending. It's like I think you really? should leave. No, it's not. I think you should leave. That's a funny TV show. Uh, he answer, He's a telemarketer. All right, move on. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the the horse movie. At the end, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you should leave. Yeah. No, fuck! I already said that. I forget what it's called. This is gonna bug me. It, it it was so surprising and so fun. It was just a wacky ass ending, kind of like Get Out, actually. But that's what Don't Breathe was, and I didn't watch the second one. And it kind of, I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I don't watch a lot of actually good movies. Speaking of bad movies, I didn't watch. I truly, I truly <laughs> can't can't remember it. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I, I don't think remember. It has what sorry it is. in the name. Sorry to bother you. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Sorry to bother you, man. That, that movie got weird so fast. Yeah. A wild ride. That was fun. Uh, I didn't watch the. I didn't even know there was a new purge, <laughs> the Forever Purge. Yeah, didn't even, it's um, I'm, didn't touch that. There's a lot there's of a purges. remake of a lot of Cube. purges. Remake of Cube, apparently. Like, oh my god, I just we just found that out what yesterday. Yeah. Like, like we're we're big Cube fans. It's such a fun story. We want an end to it. What the hell? A new one came out. Who's in charge of the advertising campaign? I Japan, bet it's that Susie chick. Japanese. I bet it's, I bet it's Susie. It's, you remember Susie? Susie? If you're listening, you know who you are. <laughs> um, did you touch Prisoner of the Ghostland? No, I, I, I have it, yeah. and it looks so good. Did you check it out? I did, and it was no spoilers. What do you think? It's just really wild. It's not the best, okay. but it's something to watch. Is it frightening, or is it no, like is it a horror, or is it I, like an action? I guess it's horror, but it it seems more like a kind of like hobo with a shotgun, grindhousey kind okay. of goofy. What the bat fuck is this? Yeah. yeah, yeah, It's it's yeah. more that level. It's not the greatest. Little creative like, license. It's, it's yeah. got some cool shit. Okay. Um, there is. I didn't watch the new VHS ninety four. You were saying that it was yeah. like. Eh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's 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 it's. Each one gets worse. VHS one was amazing. VHS Fuck. two was okay. The third one was like, eh. and then this one's a little less than that. You know what I mean? What? What do you say? <clears throat> I want to change the best villain. <laughs> you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, what? what? All the awards. Really? Halloween kills. Michael Myers should get <laughs> best villain. <laughs> Just saying. Folks, if you're on the market to be on a podcast, I'm looking for a new co-host. Go to kingsofkill.com. Well, that goes to show you, like, I know we disagreed. Uh, um, we both we both appreciate it, but you love Halloween Kills, and I dislike Halloween it's Kills. So fun. Evil died tonight. Uh, oh, my God. That's, 40 years that's ago, the events happened. Listen, no, we're not doing this I just again. did half the dialogue of the movie. Uh, you just did all the dialogue of the movie. <laughs> that and it's not him. That's all the dialogue. Michael's come home. God, I do think he should that, get that, best villain. Here's, here's the thing though. He didn't. He didn't <laughs> get any awards. That's because the movie shit. The funny thing is, I didn't even think to put him on the awards. I'm so sad. So no, you're not sad. You're just you're just being realistic. <laughs> God, how did you kills. did you catch Halloween the new Halloween. Paranormal Activity movie? The, no, it's kid? out. Yeah, it's on uh, Paramount Plus. Oh yeah, I watched it. It was another one. What was paranormal about it? Can you tell uh, me about it? the fact that it's 
the 18th one in the fucking franchise. Oh, that it's about a cult instead of paranormal shit. Oh, cool. Wow. Maybe there was a monster. I don't know. Yeah, there were no ghosts at all. No. I mean, there was something in the mirror and then under the bed, but um And we no, had to wait an hour and 15 minutes for anything to happen. And I think that movie was an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the cast and everything about that movie, though. <laughs> they were fun. Um, the cast worked. The cast did everything, work. Uh, uh, actually, it wasn't terrible, but the whole story and the good. name was terrible. Wasn't good. Yeah, a lot of holes. Not enough. Not enough fun to pay not off. Tight. It, it didn't. Work. Um, don't don't brand something under a popular title just because you need it to sell. It's not. That's bullshit. Yeah, come spiral. On. Come on. <laughs> yeah, looking at you, spiral. Man. All right. We got one award left. This is true. And it's it's totally it's totally our award. Let's let's do best kill of twenty twenty one. Get a little drum roll action. Oh, oh, oh. Wanna do the honors, sir. Michael Myers. No, no god damn it. <laughs> No, cancel the show. All right, best kill. No, no, stop. Because of you being a dick, I'm doing more drums. Don't you? We're going to give this to Fear Street 1994. And it's when Kate's face goes right into a meat grinder. Woo! So So squeamish. That was so awesome. And to get something so insane from a Netflix-made movie. It was wow. very entertaining and surprising. And R.L. Stein. <laughs> R.L. Stein, let's give it up. Let's give it up to the Goosebumps creator. Finally getting some love. I was so incredibly impressed. Uh, let's give a shout-out to uh, uh, Leigh Janiak, who directed the film. Uh, it was produced by uh, Peter Chernin, Jeno Topping, and David Reddy. Just so fun. And to take There's on a such lot a huge project, kills, but a three-part full-length movie. Yeah, that was a way to do it. I mean, it was great. Yeah, It was absolutely There's fantastic. a lot of kills out there that were really good, but that one yeah. made me like, whoa. You know? <laughs> it, was, it was wild. It was impressive. Meat grinder. Yeah, it was... Great. It, it was Meat slicer, and it just shows it. it. Plain as day, no cuts. No cuts. Just, here you go. That's what I liked about Brutal. it. I think that's why. Brutal. I chose that. Yeah, it it shows it was, every fucking bit. It 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 deserves it's it. Quick, it was so, but it also shows incredible. everything. So that that was good. Um. Oh, we didn't get to old. That's too bad. No, I actually it it has been requested. It's on the list. Sorry, we didn't get to it. We do request in order. It's first come, first serve. Um, so we will get to it. Thank you for the request. We'll get there. We promise. It's in. It's in the lineup. Keep requesting. That is the first the request that I know ahead of time. Damn it! No. <laughs> Way to end the awards a with, with a spoiler. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no. Uh... Clearly a professional show. I, it was. It turned out to be. It started off as a slow shit year, but it turned out to be kind yeah, of I mean, full of bangers. It was, really, it was a terrible. There's a lot of stuff I really want to get to. Um, I know we missed a lot. We didn't mention Lamb, which I think would win all the fucking awards. But I haven't seen it. Yeah, because I, I didn't know if it was horror. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's uh crazy. A two four though. A two four man. Dream That's team. All you need to know. What a great it's a two four. Strap in. I, I seriously, <laughs> I see that. I'm like, here's my money. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like cash or card? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm glad to, to keep doing this. Uh, I'm having a great time. I'm glad you're doing this with me, and I'm so glad Dollar Color fans for listening. Let's let's yeah, keep it going. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks guys for listening. God. What are you, Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, God. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great impression. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun doing the show. I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep it going for a little while. Right, hey, fine, we're any, gonna keep uh, it going. You got any uh, horror news? Honestly, I don't have horror news. I don't have shit. It's the end of the year. <laughs> horror news is next year's problem. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, any movies that you're looking forward to? I'm not really sure what's coming out recently. Um, or Top Gun 2. <laughs> if Tom Cruise ever stops Whenever yelling that at fucking somebody. Gets out. Oh, man. Um, we'll see. Oh, shit. There is a new A24. Oh, yeah? It's, um, it's got to do with Vikings. It's by the dude that did The Witch, I believe. Or oh, one of those, I'm, one of those dudes. Let's go. I'm in for another it's period piece. It's gonna be wild, yeah. The witch was haunting. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's uh, the trailer's out right now. Actually, there's my horror news that the trailer's out for this. Uh... Good day, game through. <laughs> Good job, bud. The rubber diggers? Is he doing that? Probably not. Like the least. Oh yeah, he is. Show. The North Man. Oh. The North Man. Yep. Oh, I have seen trailer for that. It looks interesting. It's a revenge thriller. Viking prince. Let's seek let's justice. Not murdered father. For that. So it's Batman. It's a Viking Batman. All in. 100% in. Let's go. But Batman in any era works. Taylor Joy's in it. Okay. Alexander Skarsgård. William Defoe, Nicole Kidman. Oh, nice. Ethan Hawke. Nice. Stop it, Defoe. Oh, Hawkins? Oh, dude, that's a hell of a cast. The big boy mountain guy from that one uh, crazy TV show that people love, uh, Game of Thrones. People, He might have heard of it. I don't know. That's uh, that's of Stephen Jokes, guys. That's him That's him dropping bombs right there. Oh, the there. dad that needs subtitles and the witch is in it? <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> You're the worst that guy explainer of all <laughs> that time. That guy, you know, he's in it. <laughs> Oh, it's the guy with short hair and fives eight. Oh, Adam Sandler. Good job. Jesus. We... <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god. Fuck it. Uh, no, nah, I'm excited. Anything AT4 touches, it's 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 probably gonna be gold. <laughs> Expected April twenty two, twenty two. That's not far. Two days after not four twenty. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm excited. Hey, guys, don't forget head over to kingsofkill.com. Request your episode today. It's totally free. I'm going to post a question. Oh. Oh, you are. I'm going to post not just horror movie, just top three favorite 2021 movies. That's it. Choice is yours. Whatever. I like it. I like it. Follow us on social media, guys. Uh, Links to almost everything we're on is on the website. I gotta type it. I gotta type it so I remember. (laughs) You're typing it right now. (laughs) It'll be gone in 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, Thank you all for tuning in to the second annual Cock Awards, where the awards don't matter. Thanks, Zach. I had a cocktastic time. (laughs) (sighs) That's just gonna be taken just for itself. Uh, Thank you so much. We're going to keep this going. Next year, it'll be another award show. As amazing and grandiose as this one. Look, I got a fucking light bulb. We'll have, <laughs> we'll have velvet ropes next time. The director's getting their awards. I'm sure they'll it's come. It's going to be crazy. To the Kings of Kill Studio A and B. <laughs> yes. We'll have guest lists. I'll put on my finest dress. <laughs> it's going to look like the Met Gala Guys, up in here. Thank y'all for listening. My name is Zach. I'm Steven. Could you have taken <laughs> I the hit, worst time drag? I didn't know you were closing out. <laughs> Usually there's trumpets and shit when they close out award shows. <laughs> oh, oh, we got something even better. Trumpets? We got fireworks. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank y'all so much for listening. We are the Kings of Kill. You didn't even try. <laughs> God. You're the fireworks. Fuck this show. <laughs> it's a celebration. The King's of Kill. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late.
Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> What's next episode? Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Oh, Damn I'll, it! I'll cut it in. It's recording, so you could say oh, that. I'll, I'll cut it in. Ron, uh, just you want to just add it to the back or something? Yeah, we'll just. Oh, fuck. I'll fucking add it to the back of the credits. Yeah, we. I fucked up. That's on me. God damn it! You're the one that fucks up. I'm not the one that fucks up. I mean. It's because I didn't say King of the Kill or Kings of Kill at the end. Do you even know what our first name is? Kings of the Kill? <laughs> On Fox? <laughs> uh, yeah, I so sorry, man. I totally spaced me out. I was trying to remember like all like all the goddamn awards. Uh next week. To open. State. Wait, what? <laughs> I said something at Turing. <laughs> We should, maybe we should ask Ricky Gervais to come over and fucking do this next I don't, time. I don't know what I, I I heard. Like, I don't know what I heard you say. I don't know. I can't even. Say I wish. It. I wish that was the award right there. You open it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I fucking interrupted. Uh, next up, one of my favorite actors, John Goodman, in oh, Red Jonathan. State. Red State. Okay. <laughs> What did you think I said? I said something Dude, as you're you, saying Red State again. Why did you say Jonathan? No, Jonathan no one called Goodman. Him Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan J. On Goodman. A formal basis? Yeah. Jonathan John Goodman. That's his actual name. <laughs> I swear to God. You remember when, when John Goodman liked one of our posts and I told you all excited about it and you're like, that's not John Goodman. That's just his name. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was my friend. His his fucking handle was like John Goodman's bit. fan account, like, holy or like I no, forget his, his name. His handle is something like the real John Goodman. I swear, I promise. Or something it like was, that. Yeah, the real John Goodman. Oh, I was so excited. And you're like, no, you're an idiot. That's well, not. That's not even close. That's a good rap to 2021. Weird. We fucked up again. <laughs> <laughs> this that's the pause. Our last fuck up. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, until fucking next week. Last one.